Hi and welcome to British Ants. Uh, today we're just going to be discussing uh, the effects of a leaf cutter colony. Uh, the one here is Acromimix octospinosis. You may have followed the colony from the start. We've got videos that go back on this particular colony. Um, it's uh, about a year and a half old. Um, first featured on the channel about a year ago. Now, we had a, a quite a lot of hot weather here in the UK a few a few months ago, and the temperatures in the house rose um, over a two-day period, and uh, this colony hit 30 Celsius uh, one of those days. Uh, and ever since then, the colony has been in decline, mainly because the queen has died. Uh, this is the second large colony I've come across that, uh, or I've had, that's lost a queen uh, and been quite large and the process is really quite interesting um, about how the, the actual colony functions after um, i read an article a few years ago about uh, one of the zoos um con uh, one of the queens uh i think it was marwell the queen died out and the dramatic headline in the national papers was the um, soldiers turned on the workers and it was carnage and all this malarkey um, but this as I said this is the second colony and uh, that hasn't happened at all um, the workers all get on they tend to crowd in areas you'll notice that they're clearly not working so that's the first thing they stop doing so they cease collecting any um, any material almost whatsoever I think over the last week They've collected barely anything. Um, and the same goes for the waste material. That's n no longer being removed either. So the waste workers that would normally remove the spent fungus tend not to do their job either. So you've got the majority of the waste building up around the fungus, um, which is just a bit further up. So just in the middle there, you see that's waste in between those two piles of ants. Uh, on the far left you have got fungus um, but that many ants that fungus doesn't support them uh, for a very long time so it's only a matter of time before these do um, die out um, you'll notice that some of the minima <coughs> are moving about so they seem to uh, seem to give up their post and uh, wander around uh, the majority of the ants actually stay with the remaining fungus, which is an interesting thing. You will have a few that will attempt escapes in the outworld. Um, but overall, they don't turn on each other. Um, but they do give up waste removal. They do give up collecting. Uh, and the kind of protocols about certain ants remaining in certain places, i.e. The, um, the carers staying with the brood and the... Um, Minima and the gardeners attending to the fungus, that kind of all goes out the window. Um, but they're kind of sitting around waiting for death, really. It's quite a sad, sad thing, but they don't end up turning on each other in the end.